This is the Pilot P3 mechanical calculator. It was built in 1967 by the Pilot Pen Company. It's a small four function mechanical calculator about the same size as the Brunsviga 10. I believe it was made by the same company that makes your favorite Pilot pens. It came with this convenient tote bag. It was an update of the P1 that Pilot had been making since 1961. The P1 was a slight update from the 1957 Key Bar A1 that was an acquisition by Pilot. Pilot thought the P1 wasn't beige enough, so they made the P3. There wasn't a P2. Here are the two models side by side. They're very similar sizes. And the uh, accumulator is in the same spot. But they have different mechanisms. The Brunsviga used a split step drum while the Pilot employed a classic pinwheel. As you can see on this page from the manual, Pilot really didn't stick with conventional naming. There's no accumulator on this machine. It has a lower dial. There are two levers on the machine whose function is not immediately obvious. The lock pin allowed the user to turn the crank backward mid-cycle. It was a bit risky though. I've witnessed it cause errors. Even the manual warns that if you have turned the handle more than a quarter turn, it's best just to continue the crank and then subtract what you just added. Pushing the, the division lever prevents the counter lever from counting. That prevents the need to clear the counter before dividing, helpful in preventing simple errors. It has a nice bell, which I'll demonstrate now by calculating pi. The arrow shows where the first number should be entered. No need to clear the counter because I used I used that button there called the division lever button. I flip the device over, and when I take off this bottom cover, you can see there's a lot of space in there. And here it is next to the Brunsviga. It's actually a bit smaller than the Brunsviga once you take the case off. So here it is from the inside. It's quite a bit smaller without the case. I'll do some Simple additions and carries. I hope you enjoyed the P3. 
It's a pretty basic device with a rather uninspired color scheme. Not too many bells and whistles. The locking pin is rather unnecessary, but the division lever is nice. Thanks for watching.